Good evening. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. It is Tuesday evening. We are gathering for daily Vespers. Um, we'll take a moment to talk about the saints today uh, at the end of Vespers uh, with a little special edition. So, glad that you are joining us. Please pray together with us. God cause me a sinner have mercy upon me. God cause me a sinner have mercy upon me. O God cause me a sinner have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us as they are daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are very great, you are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the wind your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with the garment, the waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, and then the birds build their nests. The stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild ghosts, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness, and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom. You have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships of Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan Tegon, low companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priest of the darkness in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, for seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, for travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God, to you, O Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer you incense to Christ our God for a sweet spiritual prayer, and receive upon your heavenly altar, and send out upon us in return the grace of the Holy Spirit. In the fourth fold, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense. And let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil. To busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity. And let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike or rebuke me in kindness. But let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. But when they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God, and you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord, with my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him, I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden the trap from me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me, no man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I say you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. 
If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand but there is forgiveness with you? The blessed youths disregarded the lawless command, for they were obedient to God, and though fettered, they loosed the bond of deception. They rejected worldly rank, but accepted the honor that made them illustrious, and which secured for them the enjoyment of the kingdom on high. For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Valiantly you stripped yourself for the contest, and were hidden in the cave, O holy ones. With unceasing prayers you besought the Lord to provide strength and power, but by the decrees which the lover of man knew, he divinely commanded you to sleep in peace. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. A mystery of mysteries is set forth in the saints, for just as they were not aware of dying, so now also they are plainly astounded on rising, for this accomplishment was for confirmation of the resurrection of the dead, so that those who had denied the resurrection but perceived the youths might be hedged about in faith and glorify the martyrs. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Come, let us ever sing hymns to the memory of the seven honored youths, the brilliant seven branch lampstand. Let us cry out to Christ who has crowned them. By their prayers, O Lord, deliver us and bring peace to our life. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. The seven godly youths died according to nature, yet they rose up at once as though from sleep, in a manner transcending nature indeed. For they had slept in the cave as dead for 372 years. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Now let us honor John and Martinian, Antonius and Dionysius, with the godly Jamblicus and Maximilian, for they pray on our behalf. Together with them let us praise with devotion the wise ex-custodian. In the same tone, glory, fourth tone, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The you who bore you lamented, as she beheld you the lamb and shepherd upon the tree. As a mother she cried to you, O most beloved son, how are you lifted up on the tree of the cross? O long-suffering one, how are your hands and feet nailed by transgressors, O word? And how do you pour out your blood, O Master? O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God and Giver of life. Therefore all the world glorifies you. With 
wisdom, let us attend the evening prokimenon is in the first tone. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. God save, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting that help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fifth tone, Moses the prophet spread his arms in the form of a cross. Moses the prophet spread out his arms in the form of a cross, and the forces of Amalek were destroyed. Now we have been given your own cross, and we beseech you, O Lord, 
Strengthen your church and grant victory to Orthodox Christians over the enemy. For the sake of your great mercy, O lover of man. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of a servant look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he have mercy on us. Your cross, O Lord, appears as mere wood to the earthly eye, but it has been arrayed with the power of your divinity. The ends of the universe shall feel its strength, for by it you have wrought the miracle of our salvation. Venerating it, we glorify you, O Savior. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too long our soul has been sated with the scorn of those who are at ease, the contempt of the proud. Intercede for us, O holy martyrs, that we may be delivered from our iniquities. For to you is given grace to pray for us. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God, the Creator, assuming my form, was clothed in my flesh, in his desire to rescue in me his fallen image. He was lifted up of his own will on the cross as one guilty of sin. Of his own accord his hands were nailed, healing the hands which sinned of old by eating of the tree. When the all-pure virgin beheld you, she lamented. Your long-suffering pierces my heart, O my beloved Son. You hold the earth in the hollow of your hand, yet are lifted upon the cross. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Great is the wonder of faith, the seven holy youths lived in the cave, as in a royal chamber. They died without falling into corruption. After much time had passed, they arose as from sleep, as an assurance of the resurrection of all. By their prayers, O Christ God, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all blameless Virgin Mother of Christ our God, your most holy soul was pierced by a sword. When you beheld your Son and God willfully crucified, Therefore never cease to pray to him, O all blessed one, that he may grant us remission of our sins. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our most blessed metropolitan Tegon Locum, tenants of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ, 
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially Barbara, Diane, Vera, Charles, and Eugene, and you hear men in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, light, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those suffering for the Orthodox faith, and all those lying on a bed of sickness and need of healing, especially the mitered Archpriest Michael, the mitered Archpriest Sergei, the priest John, Deacon Timothy, Subdeacon Nectari, Matryoshki, Cynthia Elizabeth, Delphi, Mara, Virginia, and Deborah, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Elaine, Maria, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Stephen, Stacy, Anna, Catherine, Natalie, Kathleen, Elena, Alexander, Lynn, Andalusia, Sandra, Harrison, Gabriella, Shirley, Victor, Natalie, and Nona. For those suffering from the coronavirus, the Archpriest Constantine, Andrew, and Lonnie, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send of glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Father, bless. Christ, our God, the existing, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more gloriously uncompared than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and light creating cross of our holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, of our fathers among the saints, the holy seven youths, and the sleepers of Ephesus, Maximilian, Iamblichus, Martinian, John Dionysius, Constantine, and Antonius, who we commemorate today of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the seven holy sleepers of Ephesus. And it's a fascinating account and story that reminds us that God's hand is still working in our lives all 
the time. And so the seven holy youths grew up at Ephesus. They were young men of all of the leading families in the community and were all serving in their military service together when the Emperor Decius came to Ephesus and demanded that everyone uh, make sacrifice to pagan gods. And the seven holy youths were outed as being Christians, and so the emperor brought them uh, forward and asked them to make that sacrifice, and they refused, uh, calling themselves Christians and bearing witness to their faith. And so he stripped them of all of their military rank and honor, uh, but then he hoped that he, they would then personally come and offer those sacrifices. So he went away on a trip, came back. The seven holy youths were encamped in a uh, cave outside the city. They sent the uh, youngest to go and buy bread in the city. And as he went to buy bread one day, uh, he heard that they, uh, the emperor had returned and they were looking for the seven youths of Ephesus. So long story short, the emperor heard of the cave where they dwelled, and he ordered it sealed shut so that they would die of lack of oxygen, food, and water. But one of the men who was sent to undertake this task was a Christian, and so he put two boxes in the mouth of the cave, one of them uh, being inscribed with the names of the seven holy sleepers of Ephesus and the account of what had happened. This was in the 3rd century, around 250, and sealed up the cave. So hundreds of years later, now in the 5th century, the, uh, there was a, a growing question in the surrounding area about the resurrection of the body. And at that point, uh, someone had discovered the uh, mouth to that cave, opened it, and found these seven youths that... God had put to sleep, and they awoke from their sleep, unscathed, unchanged over those hundreds of years. And so, again, the youngest was sent to the city to buy bread, only this time he showed coins that were from the time of the Emperor Decius, so he was detained, he was brought before the local bishop, and who, um, in hearing the fantastic uh, account of uh, the answers that this young man gave thought that God might be working some kind of miracle in the mist and went out to the cave, found the seven youths, and eventually the townspeople came out as well, and they went to their rest uh, before all who were gathered. And so by so doing, God taught everyone there and then of the reality of the resurrection of the body as well as the soul and worked this great miracle through these seven holy youths who did not stop bearing witness to Christ our Lord. So that's the story of the seven holy youths. Uh, but there is also a prayer that is ascribed to them uh, for those who are ill and cannot sleep. And so I thought in honor of the seven holy youths that we would take this prayer tonight. Um, I would just uh, uh, share, I'm not going to read all of the uh, uh, names of the saints who are included in the prayer, but I'll take the beginning of it, uh, come down to where the seven holy youths are mentioned, and take the prayer from there. So if there are those who are connected this night for Vespers, who are both sick and having trouble sleeping, uh, may God grant you peaceful rest through the prayers of the seven holy sleepers of Ephesus. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. O God, great, praised, incomprehensible, and ineffable, who fashioned man with your hands, taking dust from the earth, and who honored him with your image, O Jesus Christ, most desired name, together with your Father, who is without beginning, your most holy, good, and life-giving spirit, do you manifest yourself unto your servants, visit them in soul and body, being entreated, by our most glorious Sovereign Lady Theotokos and Ever-Virgin Mary, through all the saints, together with the seven holy youths of Ephesus, confessors and witnesses of your appearance in the days of the Emperor Decius and the apostate 
having sustained them in a cave for 372 years, as infants kept warm in their own mother's womb, none having endured corruption, to the praise and glory of your love for mankind, and for a testimony and confession of our regeneration and the resurrection of all. Do you yourself, therefore, O lover of mankind and King, be present now with the infusion of your Holy Spirit, and visit these your servants, grant unto them health, strength, and power by your grace, for with you every action is good and every gift is perfect. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and unto you we send a glory, thanksgiving, and worship, together with your Father, who is without beginning, your most holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. May God bless and be with all of you.